Hi, my name is Chris Ward, executive chef and partner at the Mercury in Dallas, Texas. Uh, I'm here to cook a halibut for you. It was brought in today fresh from Boston. Um, this time of year it's a little hard to find. Uh, this is about a 35 pound fish that we filleted. And this is going to take on the components of a classic, classically cooked in a more modern style. Uh, so I'm just going to place the halibut in a hot pan. And this fish is only going to be cooked on one side. It's going to take about 15, about oh, 05 to 08 minutes to cook until it's just opaque inside. Um, I started off my career about 35 years ago when I was in between my junior and senior year at SMU. I got into the business and I liked it and I stayed with it. It's amazing all the changes that I've seen take place in the culinary world from people using flour to not flour to Nouvelle cuisine to molecular cuisine. And the whole philosophy behind my cooking is for things, take what you learn classically and put them into modern day use. Uh, my customer base is not necessarily looking for foams. They want good, nice, clean food, fresh, in a wonderful environment. So what I'm gonna do is just continually to try to baste this and to pick up some of the flavor of the roasted garlic and thyme that I put in the pan. Uh, and to go with this dish, I reduced down a fair amount of chicken stock until it was almost a gel, and some fish stock, added some chopped truffles, and then lee it or finished it off with some butter. And then I'm just going to have a melange of some very, very seasonal vegetables, some multipolar cauliflower, some baby spinach, and some asparagus. This is one of my largest sellers here at the Mercury. And it's been imperative that we try to get the freshest possible ingredients we can. I'm going to turn this over and look. I want to give this just a little bit of color because the fish is only going to be cooked on one side. It truly would be an honor and a privilege for me to be on Top Chef. I feel like I'm a little bit older than a lot of the other contestants, but I would still like to show my way on how I can cook classically with a lighter flair compared to all the younger uh, chefs that are out there. And one thing I am about food is I'm still extremely passionate. In my 35 years or so of cooking, I still cook every single day. I am not a chef that does paperwork. I love the hustle and bustle of the restaurant. And it's a never ever changing business. You're only as good as you were yesterday. You have to get up and prove yourself again every single day. Now, as you can see by my basting, it's also cooking this other side. Plus, imparting all the wonderful flavors of the thyme and the garlic that will try to permeate through the fish. And going to touch it. Fish about medium rare. Turn it over and see. Nice color. The fish is almost cooked. Put it on a pan to lightly dry, paper towel to blot up all the moisture that may extrude out of the fish. And I'm putting on a little ingredient that I found in France when I was working over there for the, one of the few times I actually got to be a fly on the wall and work in one of the greatest restaurants in the world. I was over there for a month at Taliban in Paris. Paris. I was there in 1946. So this is called Despolette. It's from the Basque region of Spain. I love putting especially on white fish and white ingredients. Then I'm going to move this. I'm going to plate the fish. Put this nice reduction of the fish stock, highly reduced chicken stock, with sliced truffles, chopped truffles. Some melange of vegetables underneath. See underneath, this has a lot of color, so visually it's pleasing to the eye. Place the piece of halibut directly on top. And to garnish this, I made kind of a different version of guacamole. It's got artichokes in it and some cilantro and some sesame oil. Put a little dollop as a canal on top. 
and to garnish with a fried lotus root chip to give the, the dish some height and some dimension. And there you have uh, the Mercury's pan roasted halibut with a truffle butter sauce and roasted vegetables.